Uh, I haven't vlogged in like a long time. Haven't vlogged my days, but you know, n right now in my life, something important is happening, and I want to have it. I want to share it, and so here I am. I'm here. Um, it is about a week and a day since I had a mastectomy. Uh, I I've actually vlogged. I think two other times within the last year and a half since I've known I was going to have the surgery. Um, I'll insert like a little bit of the clips here, but honestly the first one is I think the day of um, me getting the news and it was, it's very depressing. Um, a lot has changed since then. My my outlook on my diagnosis changed, but it's important to to show how like many emotions you go through, I guess. So I'll insert a little bit of that here. I'm nervous. <laughs> um, okay, I'm gonna insert it. I don't even know if I'm ever going to oh, I don't want to cry if I'm ever going to post this or if it's ever going to go anywhere but I wanted to document it it is May 3rd. Um, a couple weeks ago, I had a blood test drawn for, it's called the BRCA gene, B-R-A-C. So it tests for a mutation of this gene to see if you are a carrier of it and your chances of cancer um, if you have it is significantly high very high percentage and I got a call two days ago saying that my test results were now in now I wasn't supposed to come in for another three weeks so I knew with them calling that it wasn't going to be good. So this morning I went in and <sighs> but I have it. I think I just get really emotional because it's it's a big deal I don't have cancer but my percentage just went from 1.9% of having breast cancer I think it was checking ovarian, pancreatic. Um, my breast cancer percentage went up to something in between like 28% and 50 something percent before I, I'm 50. And then ovarian, same sort of percentage range. Pancreatic, it's just a elevated risk um, they don't have percentages on that, but, um, so it's pretty high percentages. By the time I'm in between 50 and 70 years old, the percentage is like 80% that I will, that that's what will happen. I will have one of those cancers or I'm still learning. Um, it's day one. 
So my options, my options are, I could have breast exams and then a pelvic exam to check my ovaries on every six months. Um, I could do that, but who's to say within those six months, I don't get cancer um, because of percentages it's high and I have aunts that have had the cancer before they were 40 which I I can't even can't even I won't be doing the six month checks I will be I'll be jumping straight to having a mastectomy as soon as Abraham decides to no longer breastfeed. I am, um, I'm grateful that that is an option for me before things could get worse, before I have cancer, I can do something about it so that is that's where I'm at I would go through that which God only knows how I don't even know how that stuff works I don't know the surgery I healing time I don't know but I I'm not even giving it a second thought I would have that surgery take something that I don't need to live take it cuz I'm I'm 26 all right I'm going to get up oops that's going to stay there cuz I really shouldn't be picking anything up anyways it's been it's been a week and a day since my surgery. Um, I have to wear, let me get this set up. I have to wear like this bra um, thing, kind of just to protect my chest. And also these, <laughs> I can't get on my tippy toes. He's like, ew. These tube things, like the drains um, from my incisions, I'll actually I can show I can show my chest now. Um, I actually have to drain these this morning. So okay, so there's like these little cups that I've been keeping track. I empty these like two or three times a day. Um, and then once it's under, I think 20 or 25 total for the entire side, that I can call my doctor so that I can get my tubes out. It's like, I don't, I can show this. I mean, if you don't want to, I already showed it. If you don't want to see, just skip, just skip this part because it's kind of, it's a little graphic. Um, let me see. So there's these ports that are draining like my the fluids from my chest and once it gets below a certain point for the entire day then I can have my drains out but I already I have an appointment on Friday so a little less than a week um, to get them out thank God because they're the worst they are the worst 
Like I can't sleep. I keep irritating them because I sleep on my back, but they're they're almost on like the back side of my of my sides, so I still rub them. I can't sleep perfectly still. But anyways, I have to like put them in here. And normally Drew's here, but I started the vlog on purpose while Drew was gone because I'm nervous. I'm I talk into a camera scary a little bit. Um, <laughs> I'll save you guys. Uh, I'll kind of do it down here. But for the first week, just now it's turning colors. It's supposed to turn um, almost clear, like apple juice, which is gross. But all right, I'm going to do this. Um, I'm halfway through Invisalign. So that's a thing. I'm lucky that I can like brush my own teeth and I can take these in and out. Actually, like a few days before my surgery, Drew and I, we practiced to make sure he could take these in and out of my mouth. Oh, just in case if, uh, if it came down to that because I don't want to. I don't want to mess this up. I've only had to do it for seven weeks, so. It's not awful at all, and my teeth are going to be straight like I wish them to be. I only had like a little gap in the front, and then my bottom teeth were a little crowded, so it wasn't awful. Anyways, I'm gonna, you know, do this and brush my own teeth and wash my face. overwhelm like this whole vlog so I don't want to like tell everything like why I'm having a mastectomy because that'll take uh, 20 minutes but long story short is that I have the BRCA1 mutation so my percentage for breast cancer ovarian pancreatic um, are very high breast cancer being the um, I'm most at risk, it's like 80%, and then ovarian is 63 or something, and then pancreatic is like very low. I think it's like less than 5% or something, so they weren't worried about the pancreatic cancer, but the breast cancer was like number one. And so I knew that once my son was done breastfeeding, which we made it like two years and in three months, a couple months. Um, so we made it, we made it far, and I still, um, I honestly, I think I'm, I took it hard. I'm still taking it hard that uh, he didn't completely wean himself. Uh, he was feeding like once, once in the morning, and then that's really all he would ask for milk like every now and, the, and again but it was time the timing was right for it to just all happen so from the minute I saw the surgeon for the first time like the council um, until the day of my surgery was like ooh, almost two weeks it was very quick um, I am not getting reconstruction so I'm completely completely <laughs> I'm so nervous <laughs> oh you know I don't I don't regret like this whatsoever um But I think that because of my 
my alopecia, like why I don't have any hair. That doesn't affect my health. But because I've been through this, like the the physical changes of my appearance, um, oh, Drew's home. I'll finish this later. I need to breathe anyways. What side is this, my right? That's your right. Yeah, the one where like the tube was, oh, okay. gross. I still produce a bunch. Left yeah, but this one's sore. Mm -hmm. Is that the one that's pulled out? This one's yeah, a little bit, too, but I didn't even look yet to see. If what? Because I can feel, where's the, I can feel that this is moved. I have tubing like underneath my skin and I can feel it. Oh yeah, right there. Ew. But it's sore like it's moved. Where? Oh. Like in front. Careful, I'm sweaty from, uh, crying. from crying on the block. It's weird mm -hmm. that I don't have well, it to. The same as yesterday. Does it? Okay, good. Oh, wait. It looks the same. I don't know. Well, at least it looks the same. It's I mean, sore. I can see the ending of the tube. And then there's a tube that goes in you. I can see the ending of the tube that probably stays out. Oh, I'm sure I just call. Let's <clears throat> see. Somebody have to fix that. What? Well, isn't it? It's Saturday, right? Yeah, but there's a number for 24 hours. Okay. I called the nurse and they said like this is okay. It's okay for it to move a little bit. But anyways, I wanted to finish. I can't do that. That hurts. Um, where I was at before I was almost crying. Um, I was saying that because of my alopecia, I don't know if I'm, um, if I'm like skipping steps of like, you know how there's like grief, denial, anger, like all of those steps that you're supposed to go through when, you know, you go through changes in life. I feel like I'm skipping steps and I shouldn't. Um, but when I look in the mirror at myself, there's no, I only feel, oh God, don't cry. I only feel relief. And maybe like that's a good thing because I went through all of the anger and, and hating myself the way that I looked with my alopecia. I went through it already. So I know that like my physical changes, some days it's gonna be hard. I know that. But it hasn't been the main focus for me. Uh, maybe because now I have a two year old who I do anything for. <laughs> so while my decision to do this, it wasn't a hard one. Um, so that's where that's where I'm at in life. <laughs> No hair, no boobs, I'm here. I don't have to get breast cancer um, at an extremely young age. That's, I have family history of like in their 30s and I'm about to be 28. So if I can skip over that, I'm grateful and I feel lucky. So that's well, I'll leave that here. I, if you follow me on like Instagram or, um, I'm pretty open. So any questions, you know, people can like leave them down below or go message me. I always reply eventually. So, all right.
gonna go watch some Marvel movie that I get confused about now, so I'll uh, see you guys later. How many movies did we watch? What? How many movies did we watch? What movies did we watch? Yeah, the last thing that we vlogged was uh, us sitting down to watch a movie. We watched three? Wait, two? We watched Thor 3, Iron, er, no, not Thor 3, Iron Man 3, Thor, The Dark World. We watched four movies. Uh, what was after Thor? Watched four movies, and that was all we did. It was a good day. And now we gotta drain my... Empty my drains. And Drew gets to give me a shower. Take me a shower. Give me a shower. All right, tell me what was in your belly button. <laughs> what is that? Is that poop or? It's um, it's an M&M. &M. <laughs> <laughs> I right. felt it go down my shirt, but I can't really yeah, feel like. Yeah, no boobs, like... you just don't care about everything, I guess. <laughs> I couldn't, Ew. I felt it hit here. And I didn't think it went down my shirt. Cause it went straight into your belly button? <laughs> <laughs> it rolled down your stomach. <laughs> oh. Well. All right, that's the end of the. I guess, I guess if that would have been two weeks ago, it would have just melted in your boobs, huh? <laughs> wow. All right, bye. Hope you're proud of yourself. <laughs> Did you get my crack? You can go my crack. <laughs> All clean. Oh, pajamas. The, you have to be real. <laughs> this is the real you. Oh, you. My invisible line? Ew. Okay, just focus. <laughs> okay, bye.